you never want to go through a critical incident <clears throat> And you definitely don't want to go through two critical incidents in 43 hours. Kate Schwenke and Brent Lovett met as strangers in the fall 2015 training academy class and were given sequential badge numbers. Just three years later, the couple got married. The two are now assigned to different teams and shifts with only Fridays off together. Kate also stays busy as the only female member of the LPD SWAT team. But that reality quickly shifted when their lives turned upside down in late 2023. That week was the hardest week of my life personally. On October 17th, just after midnight, Kate and Officer Kirby Urbanic got called to the Lincoln Bus Depot. I get dispatched to just a simple disturbance. I didn't think too much of it, but something just felt weird. What started as a man refusing to buy a ticket quickly turned into Kirby getting stabbed and Kate firing her service weapon at the suspect. I pulled the trigger and everything kind of stopped for a minute. I tried to kill the officers. Now they're trying to save his life. But Kate's training kicked in and she kept going, providing first aid to the suspect who survived. Once other officers took over the investigation, Kate's first call was to her husband. How do you explain to your spouse that you just had to take actions that could potentially end a life? Both understand the inherent risks of their job and the possibility of danger, but experiencing it firsthand is another story. So it's something you try to prepare for, but when it actually occurs, it's a lot different. The evening after the officer involved shooting, Kate and Brent were driving home when they witnessed a crash here near the intersection of 158th and Sotillo Road in Lancaster County. They immediately stopped to check on the drivers. It's just the right thing to do and what we're trained to do is to always check to see if we can help someone or um, what we can do to see if they're okay or if they need medical attention or anything. But within minutes, they became victims themselves. So I saw his headlights coming and I realized that he wasn't slowing down. So I yelled at Brent and the other driver to run. That was the last thing I remember. The first thing that I thought of is where's Brent? When I looked up, he was laying face down on the shoulder of the road. All three were thrown by the impact of the collision and taken to the hospital with serious injuries. Brent spent time in the ICU and was hospitalized for five days with a traumatic brain injury and other medical issues. His memory from that time is still foggy. Then the next thing I remember was being in the hospital the next day. Calling your mother and father-in-law and saying that you don't know how badly their son is hurt is awful. When Kate was brought into the ER, she recalls the entire SWAT team waiting for her, along with investigators, officers, and her team captain. I had felt fairly alone in the officer-involved shooting because I have to make that decision. Nobody else can make it for me. Um, I felt so alone out there on the road trying to care for my husband and everybody else. And finally seeing everybody, it was like, I don't have to do this any by myself anymore. Since then, they've been able to celebrate the holidays together. As they go through the recovery process, both are back at work on light duty as Kate deals with leg issues from the crash and Brent slowly heals. My biggest wish is that he is free of pain and that his memory and all of that stuff is back, but we still just have a lot of unknowns about how he's gonna recover. Despite all the unknowns, the couple is optimistic about the future and grateful for all the support. There's just a renewed level of gratitude for getting to share my life with him. Definitely thankful for what we have right now. I can't even explain the level of pride that I have in my community for those that did stop to help and the level of gratitude that I have for everybody that helped us through both of those things. And the outpouring of support is just the cherry on top for all of that.